My name is Melissa Juranich, a motorcycle marketing specialist for Hubie and Abraham. I'm here with Liz Garbo. She is the manager for Indian of Racine, and we are at First Fridays, and it is a rocking community event. Liz, can you tell us a little bit about First Fridays? Sure, it's a community-wide event put on by the DRC, Downtown Racine Corporation, and all of Downtown Racine is open and available uh, for business late nights on every first Friday and every third Friday, although our business only does the first Friday because we do different events all throughout the season. We do bike nights every Tuesday night, TNT, as you can see by our poster over here, and we have live band every week, and we have food vendors and other vendors that pertain to motorcycles and things, and it's just a really good time. That's awesome. That's awesome. Now, I know the dealership has been here for about a year now, right? In that year, it looks like you've been doing a lot of remodeling, a lot of growth. What's your plans for this year? Oh, we have a lot of plans. We just raised the building next door here, and we'll be putting in additional parking so we can expand our parking and our partying area. Um, and then on the inside, we also are putting in a bar restaurant, Thunderstroke Cafe, or Thunderstroke Grill. We haven't quite named it all yet. And that should be open hopefully by the end of this year. And then we'll be putting an outdoor deck in along the building. Lots of things going on at Indian Racing. Very cool. Now, I know um, a lot of people actually don't know this, but Indian Motorcycles was founded in 1901. Correct. So it's actually the first. Um, it's another great American motorcycle manufacturer. Correct. So it's got a lot of ties in the community, a lot of history, a lot of heritage. How do you feel like this dealership is going to tie itself into the community and it's going to build that history and that relationship? Well, as it is, clearly, if you look around, not everybody here is motorcyclists and bikers. Um, it is a very, we're very welcoming to all of the community to come out and support our, our local community. We have our mayor in here quite frequently, our oh, wow. chief of police in here quite frequently. Oh, wow. And not because we're in bad standings, <laughs> it's because we're in good standings. So, you know, Liz, I have to ask this, you know, yes. woman to woman, do you ride? Yes. Tell me more. <laughs> That's awesome. That's great. She didn't know this. Um, yeah, yeah. Um, I've ridden, I've had my license for over 30 years. Shut up. Seriously. <laughs> um, I've had many different motorcycles, um, Harleys, Indians, um, and yeah, I enjoy it. And I ride two up with my husband also. We do about 10,000 miles a year. I've got the sickness too, Liz. I also ride, yeah. I've got a bunch of vintage bikes and sport bikes and all that, oh, yeah. so that's great. We, class, yeah. we are actually, women are the fastest growing demographic out oh, there yeah. right now. Oh, yes. It's a 28% yes. increase in the last five years of land, so yes. we're killing it. Yes. Every day. <laughs> Well, thank you so much. I really appreciate you oh, taking the time to talk to us. Yeah, thanks for coming out. We appreciate it. And everybody's welcome. Come on down to Indian and enjoy all the festivities that we have all season long. Tuesday night thunders every Tuesday. From um, Our bands are from 6 till 9 every Tuesday night. We've got food and vendors and obviously, you know, music. <laughs> and bikers walking through. <laughs> Thanks so much for joining us. This has been Behind the Handlebars. Liz Garbo, manager of Indian Every Scene. Come on down.